In this video, we are going to share with you everything you need to know about the second largest country in the world. It will surely be interesting for you to know what country this is. So watch the video carefully until the end. Hello. Hope you're doing well. Maple syrup is most definitely something Canada is famous for, with around 80% of the world's maple syrup produced in Canada. Quebec is by far the largest producer, thanks to its abundance of maple trees. The purpose of Farm and Life Channel, exploring countries and traveling to them. To share all the things of the countries of the world from food to people and culture and anything you can think of. This channel provides useful information that you will be satisfied with spending your time. This channel will never be superficial. If you're interested in this kind of content, please subscribe to Famine's Live channel and by pressing the bell on the side, you will be notified as soon as the next video is released. We're very glad that you're with us in this video. Canada is a country in North America its 10 provinces and 3 territories extend from the Atlantic Ocean to the Pacific Ocean and northward into the Arctic Ocean, covering over 9.98 million square kilometers, making it the world's second largest country by total area, its southern and western border with the United States, stretching 8,891 kilometers, is the world's longest by national land border. Canada's capital is Ottawa and its three largest metropolitan areas are Toronto, Montreal, and Vancouver. Indigenous peoples have continuously inhabited what is now Canada for thousands of years. Beginning in the 16th century, British and French expeditions explored and later settled along the Atlantic coast. As a consequence of various armed conflicts, France ceded nearly all of its colonies in North America in 1763. In 1867, with the union of three British North American colonies through Confederation, Canada was formed as a federal dominion of four provinces. This began an accretion of provinces and territories and a process of increasing autonomy from the United Kingdom, highlighted by the Statute of Westminster, 1931, and culminating in the Canada Act 1982, which severed the vestiges of legal dependence on the Parliament of the United Kingdom. Canada is a parliamentary democracy and a constitutional monarchy in the Westminster tradition. The country's head of government is the Prime Minister, who holds office by virtue of their ability to command the confidence of the elected House of Commons and is called upon by the Governor-General, representing the Monarch of Canada, the head of state. The country is a Commonwealth realm and is officially bilingual, English and French, at the federal level. It ranks among the highest in international measurements of government transparency, civil liberties, quality of life, economic freedom, education, gender equality, and environmental sustainability. It is one of the world's most ethnically diverse and multicultural nations, the product of large-scale immigration. Canada's long and complex relationship with the United States has had a significant impact on its history, economy, and culture. A highly developed country, Canada has the 24th highest nominal per capita income globally and the 15th highest ranking on the Human Development Index. Its advanced economy is the 8th largest in the world, relying chiefly upon its abundant natural resources and well-developed international trade networks, is part of several major international and intergovernmental institutions or groupings including the United Nations, NATO, G7, Group of 10, G20, Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, OECD, World Trade Organization, WTO, Commonwealth of Nations, Arctic Council, Organisation Internationale de la Francophonie, Asia-Pacific Economic Cooperation Forum, and Organisation of American States. 
By total area, including its waters, Canada is the second largest country in the world, after Russia. By land area alone, Canada ranks fourth, due to having the world's largest area of freshwater lakes. Stretching from the Atlantic Ocean in the east, along the Arctic Ocean to the north, and to the Pacific Ocean in the west, the country encompasses 9,984,670 square kilometers of territory. Canada also has vast maritime terrain, with the world's longest coastline of 243,042 kilometers, sharing the world's largest land border with the United States spanning 8,891 kilometers. Canada shares a land border with Greenland, and hence the Kingdom of Denmark, to the northeast, on Hans Island, and a maritime boundary with France's overseas collectivity of St. Pierre and Miquelon to the southeast. Canada is also home to the world's northernmost settlement, Canadian Forces Station Alert, on the northern tip of Ellesmere Island attitude 82.5 degrees north which lies 817 kilometers from the north. Pole. Canada can be divided into seven physiographic regions, the Canadian Shield, the Interior Plains, the Great Lakes St. Lawrence Lowlands, the Appalachian Region, the Western Cordillera, Hudson Bay Lowlands, and the Arctic Archipelago. Boreal forests prevail throughout the country, ice is prominent in northern Arctic regions and through the Rocky Mountains, and the relatively flat Canadian prairies in the southwest facilitate productive agriculture. The Great Lakes feed the St. Lawrence River, in the southeast, where the lowlands host much of Canada's economic output. Canada has over 2 million lakes 563 of which are larger than 100 square kilometers, containing much of the world's fresh water. There are also freshwater glaciers in the Canadian Rockies, the Coast Mountains, and the Arctic Cordillera. Canada is geologically active, having many earthquakes and potentially active volcanoes, notably Mount Meeker Massif, Mount Garibaldi, Mount Cayley, and the Mount Adziza Volcanic Complex. Average winter and summer high temperatures across Canada vary from region to region. Winters can be harsh in many parts of the country, particularly in the interior and prairie provinces, which experience a continental climate, where daily average temperatures are near minus 15 degrees Celsius, but can drop below minus 40 degrees Celsius with severe wind chills. In non-coastal regions, snow can cover the ground for almost six months of the year, while in parts of the north snow can persist year-round. Coastal British Columbia has a temperate climate, with a mild and rainy winter. On the east and west coasts, average high temperatures are generally in the low 20s degree C, while between the coasts, the average summer high temperature ranges from 25 to 30 degrees Celsius, with temperatures in some interior locations occasionally exceeding 40 degrees Celsius. Much of northern Canada is covered by ice and permafrost. The future of the permafrost is uncertain because the Arctic has been warming at three times the global average as a result of climate change in Canada. Canada's annual average temperature over land has risen by 1.7 degrees Celsius, with changes ranging from 1.1 to 2.3 degrees Celsius in various regions, since 1948. Canada has over 2 million lakes, 563 of which are larger than 100 square kilometers, containing much of the world's fresh water. The rate of warming has been higher across the north and in the prairies. In the southern regions of Canada, air pollution from both Canada and the United States, caused by metal smelting, burning coal to power utilities, and vehicle emissions, has resulted in acid rain, which has severely impacted waterways, forest growth, and agricultural productivity in Canada. Canada's culture draws influences from its broad range of constituent nationalities and policies that promote a just society are constitutionally protected. Canada has placed emphasis on equality and inclusiveness for all its people. 
The official state policy of multiculturalism is often cited as one of Canada's significant accomplishments and a key distinguishing element of Canadian identity. In Quebec, cultural identity is strong and there is a French-Canadian culture that is distinct from English-Canadian culture. As a whole, Canada is in theory a cultural mosaic of regional ethnic subcultures. Canada's approach to governance emphasizing multiculturalism, which is based on selective immigration, social integration, and suppression of far-right politics, has wide public support. Government policies such as publicly funded health care, higher taxation to redistribute wealth, the outlawing of capital punishment, strong efforts to eliminate poverty, strict gun control, a social liberal attitude toward women's rights, like pregnancy termination, and LGBTQ rights, and legalized euthanasia and cannabis use are indicators of Canada's political and cultural values. Also identify with the country's foreign aid policies, peacekeeping roles, the national park system, and the Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms. Historically, Canada has been influenced by British, French, and Indigenous cultures and traditions. Through their language, art, and music, Indigenous peoples continue to influence the Canadian identity. During the 20th century, Canadians with African, Caribbean, and Asian nationalities have added to the Canadian identity and its culture. Canadian humor is an integral part of the Canadian identity and is reflected in its folklore, literature, music, art, and media. The primary characteristics of Canadian humor are irony, parody, and satire. The roots of organized sports in Canada date back to the 1770s, culminating in the development and popularization of the major professional games of ice hockey, lacrosse, curling, basketball, baseball, association football, and Canadian football. Canada's official national sports are ice hockey and lacrosse. Other sports such as volleyball, skiing, cycling, swimming, badminton, tennis, bowling, and the study of martial arts are all widely enjoyed at the youth and amateur levels. Great achievements in Canadian sports are recognized by Canada's Sports Hall of Fame, while the Lou Marsh Trophy is awarded annually to Canada's top athlete by a panel of journalists. There are numerous other sport halls of fame in Canada, such as the Hockey Hall of Fame. Canada has a highly developed mixed market economy, with the world's eighth largest economy as of 2022, and a nominal GDP of approximately 2.221 trillion US dollars. It is one of the least corrupt countries in the world and is one of the world's largest trading nations, with a highly globalized economy. Canada's economy ranks above the US and most Western European nations on the Heritage Foundation's Index of Economic Freedom and experiences a relatively low level of income disparity. The country's average household disposable income per capita is well above the OECD average. The Toronto Stock Exchange is the ninth largest stock exchange in the world by market capitalization, listing over 1,500 companies with a combined market capitalization of over 2 trillion US dollars. In 2021, Canadian trade in goods and services reached 2.016 trillion dollars. Canada's exports totaled over 637 billion dollars while its imported goods were worth over $631 billion, of which approximately $391 billion originated from the United States. In 2018, Canada had a trade deficit in goods of $22 billion and a trade deficit in services of $25 billion. 20th century, the growth of Canada's manufacturing, mining, and service sectors has transformed the nation from a largely rural economy to an urbanized, industrial one.
Like many other developed countries, the Canadian economy is dominated by the service industry, which employs about three-quarters of the country's workforce. Among developed countries, Canada has an unusually important primary sector, of which the forestry and petroleum industries are the most prominent components. Canada's economic integration with the United States has increased significantly since World War II. The Automotive Products Trade Agreement of 1965 opened Canada's borders to trade in the automobile manufacturing industry. In the 1970s, concerns over energy self-sufficiency and foreign ownership in the manufacturing sectors prompted Prime Minister Pierre Trudeau's Liberal government to enact the National Energy Programme NEP, and the Foreign Investment Review Agency FIRA. In the 1980s, Prime Minister Brian Mulroney's Progressive Conservatives abolished the NEP and changed the name of FIRA to Investment Canada to encourage foreign investment. The Canada-United States Free Trade Agreement FTA, of 1988 eliminated tariffs between the two countries, while the North American Free Trade Agreement NAFTA, expanded the free trade zone to include Mexico in 1994, later replaced by the Canada-United States Mexico Agreement. Canada has a strong cooperative banking sector, with the world's highest per capita membership in credit unions. Canada is one of the few developed nations that are net exporters of energy. Atlantic Canada possesses vast offshore deposits of natural gas, and Alberta also hosts large oil and gas resources. The vast Athabasca oil sands and other oil reserves give Canada 13% of global oil reserves, constituting the world's third largest share after Venezuela and Saudi Arabia. Canada is additionally one of the world's largest suppliers of agricultural products. The Canadian prairies are one of the most important global producers of wheat, canola, and other grains. The country is a leading exporter of zinc, uranium, gold, nickel, platinoids, aluminum, steel, iron ore, coking coal, lead, copper, molybdenum, cobalt, and cadmium. Many towns in northern Canada, where agriculture is difficult, are sustained by nearby mines or sources of timber. Canada also has a sizable manufacturing sector centered in southern Ontario and Quebec, with automobiles and aeronautics representing particularly important industries. In the following, we describe the five countries that have the most trade relations with Canada. Number 1. Canada and U.S. U.S. goods and services trade with Canada totaled an estimated $718.4 billion in 2019. Exports were $360.4 billion, imports were $358 billion. The U.S. goods and services trade surplus with Canada was $2.4 billion in 2019. Canada is currently U.S. goods trading partner with $612.1 billion in total. Two-way goods trade during 2019. Goods exports totaled $292.6 billion. Goods imports totaled $319.40 billion. The U.S. goods trade deficit with Canada was $26.8 billion in 2019. Trade and services with Canada, exports and imports totaled an estimated $106.3 billion in 2019. Services exports were $67.7 billion. Services imports were $38.6 billion. The U.S. services trade surplus with Canada was $29.2 billion in 2019. Canada was the United States' largest goods export market in 2019. The top export categories in 2019 were vehicles, machinery, electrical machinery, mineral fuels, and plastics. U.S. total exports of agricultural products to Canada totaled $24 billion in 2019, our 1th largest agricultural export market. Leading domestic export categories include 
prepared food, fresh vegetables, fresh fruit, snack foods not elsewhere specified or indicated, and non-alcoholic beverages. The top import categories in 2019 were mineral fuels, vehicles, machinery, special other, and plastics. U.S. total imports of agricultural products from Canada totaled $24 billion in 2019, our 2th largest supplier of agricultural imports. Leading categories include snack foods, red meats, fresh, chilled, or frozen, other vegetable oils, processed fruit vegetables, and fresh vegetables. Number 2. Canada and China The statistics Canada data show Canada imported a record $100,027,968,000 of goods from China in 2022, up 16% from $86 billion in 2021. The biggest category of imports in 2022 was consumer goods, at $31 billion, followed by electronic and electrical equipment worth $28 billion. Number 3. Canada and UK. In 2020, Canada exported $13.2 billion to United Kingdom. The main products that Canada exported to United Kingdom are gold, crude petroleum, and iron ore. During the last 25 years, the exports of Canada to United Kingdom have increased at an annualized rate of 5.88%, from $3.16 billion in 1995 to $13.2 billion in 2020. In 2020, United Kingdom exported $7.03 billion to Canada. The main products that United Kingdom exported to Canada were silver, gold, and packaged medicaments. During the last 25 years, the exports of United Kingdom to Canada have increased at an annualized rate of 2.57%, from $3.73 billion in 1995 to $7.03 billion in 2020. Number 4. Canada and Japan In 2020, Japan exported $8.14 billion to Canada. The main products that Japan exported to Canada are cars, motor vehicles, parts and accessories, and gold. During the last 25 years, the exports of Japan to Canada have increased at an annualized rate of 0.74%, from $6.76 billion in 1995 to $8.14 billion in 2020, Canada exported $9.44 billion to Japan. The main products that Canada exported to Japan were pig meat, coal briquettes, and rapeseed. During the last 25 years, the exports of Canada to Japan have increased at an annualized rate of 0.16%, from $9.07 billion in 1995 to $9.44 billion in 2020. Number 5. Canada and Mexico, Indiana 2020, Canada exported $5.26 billion to Mexico. The main products that Canada exported to Mexico are motor vehicles, parts and accessories, rapeseed, and raw aluminium. During the last 25 years, the exports of Canada to Mexico have increased at an annualized rate of 6.44%, from $1.1 billion in 1995 to $5.26 billion in 2020. Mexico exported $16.1 billion to Canada. The main products that Mexico exported to Canada were cars, motor vehicles, parts and accessories, and delivery trucks. During the last 25 years, the exports of Mexico to Canada have increased at an annualized rate of 7.14%, from $2.87 billion in 1995 to $16.1 billion in 2020. Please support Farman's Life channel with your likes so that we have more enthusiasm to share more content. You can also comment your questions to us. If you like to watch and know more about this content,
please subscribe to the channel and by pressing the bell on the side you will be notified as soon as a new video is released. Thank you for being with us. Thank you.